effects. One person making it, doing it doesn't make a difference. Two people doesn't make a difference. Everybody, half of the people, makes a big difference. If, if 3,000 students at CBC were walking around carrying those refillable water bottles and not buying disposable water bottles, the impact would be immense. Where they become a problem then is, is in the landfill because you're now taking that product that used to be oil, you're putting it in the landfill and it doesn't break down. If it does break, the, the place that that stuff will break down most effectively is in the sun. It's called photodegrading and as it, it'll break apart. Maybe you've seen plastic that's been out in the, uh, on the street or something and it starts to split and decompose and break apart. It, it's not decomposing in the same way that an organic product is. So it's not going to be returned to, you know, nitrogen and phosphorus and other organic compounds like that. It's going to remain the polymer, the plastic polymer that it is, just in smaller and smaller pieces. So then you've maybe all heard of the great ocean garbage patches, these big areas where we have these gyres, these swirling, and it's not fast, these kind of slowly swirling areas within the ocean where garbage that's gotten into the ocean accumulates over time. And we, we call it this giant ocean garbage patch, imagining that there's plastic bottles floating around in the water out there. By the time they get there, most of them have degraded into tiny, tiny particles. And that's where they pose a problem, is because they, fish and other aquatic organisms can't tell the difference between a a decomposed piece of plastic or broken down piece of plastic and plankton. So we see marine organisms feeding on plastic and they're not getting any nutrients out of it and in some cases it can kill those, or those animals. There's no requirement for testing the wa bottled water. There are requirements for testing tap water. And our water, I get a report from the city of Kennewick, I think it's once or twice a year, telling me what they discovered when they were looking at the well that serves my part of the city. And telling me what contaminants are in there, what levels they are, letting us know if there's anything that's of concern. And there's no requirements for the bottled water manufacturers to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. so, it's not healthier, it's not cleaner, it's not safer. It really comes down to the fact that there's millions and millions of plastic bottles that are produced every year and we don't control their disposal very well. Only something like less than 30% of them get, actually get sent to the recycling, even if that recycling means that they get chopped up and used for something else altogether that also ends up getting thrown away. Um, most of them either end up in the landfill or on the side of the road or floating down out in the ocean into the gyre. So I can actually tell you the last time I bought a bottle of water. It was May 22nd, 2009. Prior to that though, I don't remember the last time I bought one. I just, it just hasn't been a part of my, of my life. And it surprised me as I see people buy it. I, I've had students tell me that they don't drink tap water. They don't buy, drink any water unless they buy it at Costco. And they buy it by the, the case. And I, I just don't understand.